Hi guys. So please let me know if you can hear me. Do you guys hear me? Hi Linda. Do you hear me? Does that mean you hear me, Peter? <laughs> ah, great. Oh, finally. Wow. I think this is the first time that I started alive without having sound problems. <laughs> That's great. How are you guys doing? I'm just going to give it a couple of more minutes before I start. Hi, Annie. Hi, Birgit. Birgit. Hi. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of people here today. That's fun. All right, well, I'm not gonna go through uh, all my materials today and I have my palette and I'm gonna show you my colors and I'm gonna show you how I found them. All right, so I use my color wheel and I pulled out um, three colors. So I have these three and I had to make one of the colors in order to use the three that I wanted to. So I'm using the red orange, the one you see here. And I'm using, uh, this is my red and then I'm going to use uh, the orange. So what I did was I just added some yellow to the red orange to get orange. And those are the colors you see here. And then I just um, made my values. So um, I don't know how much you guys know, but this end of the color wheel has five blank uh, windows. And you can use any of these five colors as long as they're next to each other. And I think three is more than enough. And you can turn it anywhere you want to onto the color wheel. And you'll get colors that go together. So you could use yellow, green, green, and blue, green. Or you could use uh, green, blue, green, and blue. And you can just keep spinning it. And so you can use all five if you want to, but don't do that because that'll be like crazy. Hi, Melanie. Nice to see you. So that's how I found my colors today, guys. And I don't usually work uh, with colors like these, but that's what my journal is all about. It's about pushing myself and I don't know, trying new things. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I have a page that I gessoed already. I had a drawn on it before, but I just gessoed over that. And uh, so that'll work. And I'm kind of wanting to work with, uh, I don't know. I've been into these circles for so long now that I think I want to work with thinner brushes today. So I pulled out these. I have, I have a couple of thick ones too, but, um, uh, I think I'm going to try and stick with these, at least in the start. I'll see. I'll, I don't know what's going to happen, but that's what, I, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm feeling. Um, all right. So I'm going to start with 
uh, some soft pastel. I pulled out some soft pastels. I have that red purple that I have, purple red or red purple or whatever it is. And I have a redder one. And I figured I'd use, start with these two. And I'm just gonna use that little drawing that I have as a guide. No particular reason why, I'm just wanting to do that. So I hope you guys had a nice Easter. I'm so, uh, I don't know. I've been, I haven't been painting at all this Easter. It's like crazy, but I've been working so hard with that online class that I feel like I'm never gonna get, done, get it finished. But I'll just have to keep going, I guess. All right, and I'm gonna bring some of that red purple into it too. Yeah, just a little bit. <clears throat> this is kind of spooky. <laughs> These are colors that I never use. So we'll see what happens. Uh, all right, I think I'm gonna start with a uh, really thin brush and I'm gonna go into the green that I have here and the reason I have the green is because uh, when I put uh, black into that orange it goes green and it's a really dark dark green so I'm just gonna start with that predictive text what's that what do you mean by that I'm not sure Melanie I tried with the Oh, I'm glad you liked it. The pastel and gesso. I love pastel and gesso. But I'm not sure what you mean, predictive text. Okay, let's see. Um, see how loosely I'm holding this brush? I'm like holding all the way onto the tip of it. I'm not trying to control it in any way whatsoever. I'm just letting it do what it does. Ah, I had a great Easter, uh, Linda even though I didn't paint. <laughs> I didn't get to do too much creative stuff. Uh, all right, let's bring this in because this is like a contrast to what I already used. So I just, I just want to see what happens when I bring that in and kind of blend it into the stuff that I have going on already. And I think it needs some more white. So I'm just going to pick up some white and get it another value. Yeah, I like that. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that's great. That's so funny, Melanie. I, I you know, I hate when that happens. And then you have the autocorrect too on, oh my God, it drives me up the wall. So you see now when you blend it with uh, pastels, you get like another value or even another color actually. So that's kind of fun. And I'm just going to ruin that white now because I really like that light, light tone. So I'm going to try that with the pink too.
and I'm just pulling that pastel out. Okay, I think I forgot. No, there they are. I need paper towels. Okay. Let's see what else we could do here. And I'm going to go back in with that thin brush again. I'm just drying it off a bit because I don't like wet brushes. Uh, and I think I'm just going to keep going with the same green for the lines. Um, making some more of them in a different value. Bringing in a third value. Okay, let's see. How about we come in with some of that pink? And now that's this is that pink color that you see here, but it has, uh, I think I put some of that rusty red in there. So that's that red with the, with the, the brown in it. No, the black, excuse me. <laughs> All right. So now I'm just going to start trying to react to what's already there. Um, and I'm working still with the thin brush because the thin brush doesn't let me like make these big blobs anywhere. I just can only paint like small pieces and I don't know where to put it. So I think maybe here. That works. And then I think I want to bring some white in here too. So I'm just ruining this white paint that I have going on here, putting all different colors in there. And that's another good thing when you use a small brush like that you can't like I don't know you have to like it just stay in uh, small areas all right how about we put some of this in here so we get some like really matte colors in there um, I don't know if I like that. Yeah. And I think I want to bring more of the lighter colors in here too, up on the top. Um, I think maybe I'm going to try that light, light green. Yeah. Yeah, that works. I'm kind of liking these colors. And that's the good thing about trying new stuff. Hi, Robert. Salzburg, Austria. Hi. 
I'm so glad there's men here. <laughs> I don't see too many men in my classes, so you're all welcome. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. What else can we do? I think I have... I have a few of ne these Neo colors, um, Neo color twos. They're like um, water soluble, and I, I'm just gonna make some marks with them. Not sure what uh, they're gonna do, but they're gonna give me some extra color here. Oh, you're so welcome. Free indeed. Hello. Chosen. What? What is the chosen? Is that like a series or was it a movie? See, and now I'm just going to put water on here. And what I can do with these is that I can use them with uh, gesso as well. But for now, we're just going to let them uh, dry with the water. I think let's put some of it here too to blend it into the color that's already there. Yeah. So I'm not um, painting with the colors that are from men today, I guess, but. <laughs> And they're actually not my kinds of colors either, but I'm quite liking it, so. All right, now I'm just gonna take a look at it because what we all tend to do is that when we paint, we tend to just keep going and going and going. And then we have no idea what we have on, uh, on the paper. So it's good to just stop, give it a look and think, is there anything that you can do to improve it? And the first thing I'm thinking now is that I have these two circles. I want a third one. I think I want to make another one here. So I'm going to get my brush back out and that dark green. And I'm going to make another small circle. Oh, a series of, oh wow. I'm going to watch that then. Hi, Shirley. Nicola, hi. Thanks for joining me, guys. And again, I'm going to come in with another color. And I don't have to use all these colors, even though I blended them up. And the reason that I made them uh, is because I had no idea what colors I would get because these aren't colors that I'm used to using. So that's why I have so many of them. So I made all my, I made three values of each color. <clears throat> so I'm gonna probably have to do some more painting <laughs> after this is over. Okay, and now I have an orange uh, soft pastel, it's dry pastel. And I figured I'd put some of that in here. See what that looks like. Yeah, that's good. And I also have this sprayer that has dots on it. And I, I don't know, I think it could look kind of cool with some dots on here. And I think I'm gonna put, no, I think I'm gonna use my gesso. So I'm just gonna use some gesso on it. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of looks happy. Give it a quick dry. And 
And there's another thing I wanted to tell you guys that I keep forgetting every time I do these live videos is that when I use, um, when I use soft pastel or I use charcoal or anything that can move, um, I use acrylic varnish on it and it's a permanent var varnish. And what it does is that if, if I, if I was to put it like here now where I have, uh, pastel it would just keep it in place and um, if I wanted to say this piece was finished and I just wanted to keep that that way I could just spray the painting and leave it like that but I could also spray it now and work over it and it won't move and that goes for charcoal too but when you use it on charcoal and you don't want the charcoal to move because you're going to paint over it you want to do a couple of layers of this before you start painting over it to be sure that it won't move so that's just uh i i kept i keep forgetting to tell you all right so let's see what else can we do here i have a big palette knife a palette knife that i think i want to use maybe i'll just Pull up whatever gesso I have on here. That wasn't too much, so we'll put some more down. Yeah, where do I want it? do is I'm gonna get my brush out too and I like to just uh, blend out some of it and you see how that white just pushes the color back and that's a good way to calm down the painting too guys if uh, you have a lot going on and you want the painting to you know calm it down a bit just put some gesso on there and it'll push back the colors because it, it it sort of puts on like a, a glaze or a haze or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do with these lines. Just push, push them back a bit. I'm kind of wishing that this was further up. So I think I have to, I have to do some more to it. Thanks, Nicola. Hi, Anne. Oh, I don't use red that much either. Believe me, Melanie. <laughs> but it kind of works when you, I don't know if you saw what I told you about the, the color wheel, but if you use these five uh, slots on the color wheel and use colors that are next to each other, it'll work. Um, you're welcome, Linda. Hi, Kim. Um, and I use gesso because gesso uh, is transparent. I guess you could use a transparent white, but I like the chalky feeling and the texture that it gives. So that's why I use gesso. You like what's going on on the lower left? Really? Yeah, it's not bad at all. But I think either I have to either pull up this side all the way up or do something on this side. And I'm not sure because I think all my focus is here at the moment. So I might pull this side up a bit and I'm not sure yet how I want to do that but I think a paintbrush a thin paintbrush again maybe some lines and, and maybe the green again I'm not sure if that's going to work but if not we'll just have to save it 
Well, maybe not the green. I think that's going to be too dark, the dark green. I'll go in with the, we'll go in with the lighter green first and see how it looks. All right, so here we go, guys. Yeah, that works. And I just told you, or didn't I? Did, did you ask your question twice or? Oh, I can't remember. Well, I'll just tell you again. I use gesso because it's transparent and I like the effect it gives to the paper, the texture. Oh, I answered. <laughs> you see? Oh, thank you. How do you say? How to pee? How to pee. Thank you. Um, I don't even know if I want to do so much more with it. I'm kind of liking this. What do you guys think? I could go in with some writing maybe. But I'm kind of liking it like it is. Do you guys have any suggestions for me? <laughs> there is such a delay with me talking and uh, I, I don't know, I think it's like a 10, 15 second delay. You think so, Kim? Yeah. Me too. I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm really liking it myself. Yeah, I think because now it's like, uh, it's not the same on each side. It's, there's an imbalance there. Yeah, it does. It should have been. That's why I tried with the lines. Uh, and that's why I tried to pull up the painting with the lines. You don't think I should stop? So what do you think I should do, Nicola? Thanks, Robert. <laughs> Leave the top left. It's great. All right, Linda, I hear you. You'd like to see some writing? Yeah, I think so, too. I could go in with some... Uh, I can use my fine liner, I guess. I don't know if I brought it over here though. Yeah, I still have it here from last week. <laughs> I'll see if this one works because this one is, uh, yeah, there's some paint left in it. All right, where should we put some words then? I think here maybe. Yeah. So I'm just thickening the line up so uh, there's contrast in the line. Yeah. Can you even see that? And the top left upside down triangle, slightly darker. I'm not sure what you meant, but we'll see what we can find. You like it turned upside down, Anne? <laughs> Let me see. Like that? Yeah, maybe. Thanks, Robert. <laughs> another painting? <laughs> you want me to get another, another book and do another painting? I, I can use up my paint. Uh... What do you mean, Erica? The top left upside down triangle? Oh, you mean this? Uh, 
Uh, surely no. This is uh, it's acrylic paint that's diluted with water. <laughs> that's funny how to be. All right. Well, if I'm gonna do another one, I have to get another book. <coughs> All right, then give me a second. I have to go out and find another book. Oh, <laughs> I turned the light off. Here we go. New book. Open it on the right side. All right. So what I can do now is I could try and use more of these darker values up here that we didn't use and maybe the orange. Hmm. And I'm not sure what I want to do. <laughs> so um, let's start with gesso in it. So it's, it has gesso on it. Oh, I think I need a bray or two. Oh, there it is. I have it here. Oh, I'm glad you guys are happy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Painting number two. So I like to brayer on the gesso because um, when it dries, it has like this great texture. All right, here we go. I'm gonna dry it. So I dry the back because uh, the damp from the paint goes through the pages and so I, I try to dry it. Ah, oh, you're so welcome, Free Indeed. All right. Let's see then. I think I feel like starting with that ginormous palette knife that I have. Oh, maybe another half hour, Erica. Oh, thanks, Kim. I'm glad you. <laughs> I'm glad you were here for the part you were here for. Indonesia, wow. That's cool. And I'm in Norway, so we're kind of far apart. <laughs> so I want to start with this, I think, guys. And I think I have so much of that red. I'm going to start with that mad color. I don't know if I'm going to be mad at myself for doing this, but that's what I'm doing. There you go. Uh, no, uh, Peter, this is um, 
just like, um, what do you call it? A foam board that I just put plastic around, clear plastic. And I always use plastic for my uh, palette because I, when I paint on canvas, I need a lot of space and these are easy to like just move around. All right, let's put some marks in here. Hmm. All right, and then I'm going to come in with the orange. Uh, yeah, that would be great to have a friend like that, I guess, right? There has to be one in Indonesia. <laughs> Keep looking. Um, and I think I want to put some of it over here. And... Uh, am I use anything, <laughs> but I always use, uh, at least studio quality. Like these are, these are new. I, these are the, f I haven't tried, uh, tried the sminky before, but these are really nice. I like them a lot. I use Amsterdam, but I use the standard series. I don't use the expert series. Well, I do use the expert series too, but not in my journal. Um, I use Golden, I use uh, Windsor Newton, I use them all. Uh, yeah, I no, Peter, I, um, I just changed the plastic when it's full. <laughs> and I'll show you another thing that I use. These are like, uh, I don't know what to call them. Are they uh, glass fiber or vinyl or something? Uh, I bought them, I think, on Wish. And that's what you see. They look like with paint on them. And I just let the paint dry on there. And then I can either scrape it right off or I just bring it down and I use water on it, actually. That's what I usually do. But you, you can scrape it off, too. And then just uh, keep using them. So these are nice too. If you don't need like a lot of space, they're nice. All right, so now we have some orange and we have some red. And I think I'm gonna bring in a neo color in like that purplish color. So we start to use that too. Just gonna Put some down there. And I'm gonna work around my circle because that's, I'm reacting to what's on the canvas. And now I have two pretty identical size shapes. So I'm just gonna pull that down a bit and maybe I'll put a bit of it up here too. my paintbrush and just wet it so now you see that I'm blending it with the soft pastel too a little bit too much water on that one I think I'm gonna put some gesso on it 
we've just got to uh, water down. All right, and then blending it with the orange again. All right, let's see. Oh, that's so true, Erica. This is what I'm all about. Cause once I uh, understood that just playing and being me was how I could create my best art, it was a no brainer. So you just gotta keep uh, trusting what you do and just believe that no matter what you put onto the paper, you can change it so that it looks good. If it doesn't come out right, you can always change it. So, and I'm telling you, there is nothing like creating art that is yours, that isn't a copy or isn't inspired by anybody. It's just come out, it came out of you. So that, that's really, to me, that's really important. All right, I'm gonna bring some of the paints up here cause that color got all washed out. Make some marks in there. I'm not sure about that red blob. We'll see what happens with that. All right, so what should we use now? Maybe I'll use this since I didn't use it on the other painting. So you see, there's no worries. Nothing is uh, can go wrong, no matter what. And how about put some up here? And then I'm gonna put some gesso in that too, just to lighten it up a bit. Oh. So you see at this point, I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> Aww. Well, and don't let anybody make you doubt yourself. Cause you're the boss of you. I heard somebody say that uh, on Instagram all the time. I think you should go check her out. Um, Jody King, I think she's called. Uh, No, I don't use a lot of brushes. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> my brushes last forever. All right, now we're gonna make some lines, guys. See what they look like. And I think I'm gonna use the pure orange maybe. Put some more of that.
You're so welcome, Anne. She's great. I love her. All right, let's see. So I think I'm going to use some gesso on my brayer. There you go. I just want to keep this part white, I think, and just cover up a bit. Yeah, and Ann, she's like always saying, nobody's the boss of me. <laughs> and that's what I want you to think, because that's so true. Nobody's the boss of you, so don't worry about what your friends say or anybody else. Just do what you do. Yeah, not bad. Maybe we'll put a bit here. And a tad here too. Yeah. So I need to do something here, I think. Um, how about we bring some of that in here just to lighten it up a bit, see what that looks like. I'm not sure if I should put that in there or not. Yeah. Could work. So you see what I'm doing? I'm not sure if the color's right, so I'm just using a bit of it and trying it and seeing if it works. And I'm not sure if I like it or not, but I'm going to leave it there. So. <laughs> and that's so funny. I cringe too, so you're not alone. I'm not used to using red. No way am I used to using red. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to come in with the thinner brush again. And I want, I actually wanted something darker than that red brown i think i'm just going to put some of it in that black um because then we get like a chocolate brown kind of color see if i can do something with that yeah i like that No, that I didn't like. <clears throat> Sometimes I see right away things that I do that I don't like at all. So I just go and that's it. I don't want it there. So I'll just bring that back. Thanks, Linda. I'm like more insecure with this one than I, than I was on the last one, but uh, I, it might have something to do with the colors on this one, even though they're almost the same colors. <laughs> I don't know, um, but I want more of this, and I kind of want to make, uh, I don't know, I don't know where to put it. I hate that. No, I don't think that's going to work there because I wanted to put like a, a bigger sp spot of that dark brown, but I think it's going to compete with the purple there. Um, let me think. Get another brush that's a little bit thicker. All right. 
I need a bit more black. Maybe I shouldn't. I'm not sure here if I'm if I want to do this or not. <laughs> ah, go ahead. You see, sometimes you just frighten yourself and you just got to go for it. Yeah, that's not too bad. But I'm going to cover up that uh, dark part of it. Let me see. Um, bring something lighter in there. Yeah, that's better. Let me see, what do we have? Neo colors. How about we bring a tad of green in just to see how it works. I hope you guys aren't bored to death. You've been here forever now. <laughs> yeah, some green work, works good. I like that, but or do I? I had some of that dark brown on there. Come in with the lighter green. Yeah, green kind of works. <laughs> oh, that's good, Nicola. Great, Peter. I'm, Peter, I'm glad. <laughs> All right, so what is this uh, painting? Where is it going? So now I have like these three spots here that are talking to each other, but something's not right. I'm not sure what. But I think I'm going to bring in some lines. Yeah, I'm getting quiet now because I'm trying to think. Oh, I'm not sure what what's wrong. Something is not right and I can't figure it out at the moment. I think I might have to cover up a bit of that. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to go get more of that dark brown. I want to see what happens. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't mind that. Maybe some of that red goes in. I'm kind of trying to balance it up. Uh, Peter, I used to do that all the time. Now I, I'll stop, but I'll usually come back and try and do something so it works. I hate leaving paintings now. A little scratch through this dark, you mean? Uh, <laughs> I can't scratch too much through it because uh, it's dry. So, um, I don't know, uh, some of you guys were here when I uh, couldn't get the painting to work that, I think it was a couple of weeks ago. So what I did was I just, uh, I had to stop because I couldn't keep you guys here all night. But what I did was I didn't stop when I turned the camera off, <laughs> I had to keep going. And if I didn't, if I hadn't gotten it to work then, I would have probably come back in and tried at some point. I have a lot of paintings in my uh, journal that are halfway done and I'll usually go and I'll do something with them on days where I really don't have that much time. So, yeah, I know this needs something. So, I, I'm, I, yeah, and I think the red balanced it out a bit but I think I need more red somewhere else too and I'm not sure where though so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try a little spot of it up here and we'll see what happens yeah that worked. And then we're going to come back in. I'm going to come in with uh, some dry pastel now and see if I can make something happen here. All right, Melanie, you know you can watch this whenever afterwards, so. <laughs> That's cute, Peter. Oh, you think it looks like a, pip a pickle? <laughs> yeah, well, that happens all the time. I've made worse things than pickles, I'll tell you that. Bye, Melanie. Great to have you here. I'll see you around. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> That's so funny. All right. So I think I think I have to cover it up somehow. Uh, what do I need? No more. No more of that purple, pink, purplish pink. Um orange maybe do I have yeah Be 
Yeah, that kind of works. All right, so. I think that part is about to get gessoed over. Yeah, I could do that, but I think it's a bit early in my process. I like to do that towards the end of the painting. I kind of like the white. Um, I could actually put some writing in here. That's a bit thick, but... Nah, not liking that bottom part. Yeah, the pickle had to go. That's right, Em. I agree. <laughs> oh, God. It did, right? Yeah, I think so, too. It really helped. Um, I need to do some more to it. Um, I don't like this. The green here is, um, maybe it could be greener. That could be the whole problem. So I'm just trying to stop a bit, guys, because I want to see what it looks like. Yeah, because I'm still not sure what the green, I'm going to soften it up a bit because it's a bit harsh. And maybe bring some of that up here. There's something that's not in balance. Could be up here or... All right. Gesso usually does the job. Um, I do this every uh, Wednesday, Erica. Yeah, I know that right, the green shed. I but it's just that I don't want too much of the green in the in the painting. Thanks, Nicola. Yeah, well, that's what I have to do, Freak. Because if I don't, it, I won't get anywhere. And you have to work through that uncomfortable feeling. That's just part of it. Um, I like what I did here because now I have like a different kind of stroke and that gave it some interest. Um, but there's something missing down here. Thanks, Erica. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm not sure, guys. Um, I think I think it needs maybe some line work or hmm, maybe that circle. I could put some more colors onto that. Um, I use that dark, dark. I did something lighter in here. See how that works. And where did that? There it is. This is why I like using the soft pastels too, because it's so easy to just correct things with the pastels. Hi, Emily. Oh, that's all right. And you know, you can watch this over too, because when I'm done, it'll just be out there like a regular YouTube video. So if you want to watch it later, you can. This is my second painting. So <laughs> there's a lot to watch. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm kind of liking this uh, at the moment. It's not too bad. And uh, we just want to get some interest going in here, guys. Like some lines and some texture and stuff. That's what makes the painting interesting. Yeah. Thanks, Emily. From the UK, all right. All right, I think I'm just gonna quit. I think uh, I like it the way it is. I like that it has, it has me looking like all the way through the painting. I'm, my eye is like following the stuff that's happening. And I feel if I put some more down here, that's gonna like distract it. Um, and I like that the two corners here are different. Um, yeah, I'm kind of happy with it actually. So, all right, well, before you guys go, I'm just gonna show you, uh, that's the other one, um, Emily. So that's the first one I did. Oh, good, Anne. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I think it turns out kind of cool, too. And I'm even inspired now to uh, kind of uh, paint with these colors again. Hi, Angela. Montreal, wow. Oh, that's all right. Angela, you know, you can watch this later if you want to. It'll be out there like a video. I leave them up for a week, so... Do that, Emily. Thanks, Linda. I like it too. I think I'm just going to leave it here now. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. I'm glad the pickle's gone too. <laughs> so, and you see how that works? I mean, even though I had that pickle in there and now it's just like behind there making everything look interesting. And the circle and everything, you still see part of it. Yeah, they're quite different. So I'm so glad you guys took the time to hang out with me today. And yeah, I'll be back next Wednesday. So I think I'm going to call it a night. Oh, I'm so glad, Anne. 
and I, I enjoy uh, getting to know you guys and hanging out with you. It's so much fun. And I was just saying to a friend of mine, I need to, I wish we had like all had microphones so we could talk. Uh, thanks, Emily. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> I will keep it up. Uh, thank you, Angela. <laughs> Do that, Emily. <laughs> No problem at all, Erica. I'm, it's my pleasure sharing with you guys. Eight, I'm at, it's 8 p.m. in Norway. So if you just Google what time is it in Norway and you should find out when it's 8 p.m. here. So, and it'll come up in your time. You're so welcome, uh, Birgit. Birgit, you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Nicola. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Aw, oh, thanks, Linda. You sure will see me next week, Shirley. Aw, oh, I'm so happy, Peter. And I'm so glad we have some guys with us. You will, Anne. We'll see you next week. Aw, oh, thanks, Nicola. Aw, oh, thanks, Angela. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to call it a night. It's been a great one. <laughs> so much fun. All right. Bye-bye.